Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna continue on Hadriel the Healer. Uh, I know I mentioned my last video, I might be doing the Bleak Falls Barrow Quest this video. I don't think that's gonna be a possibility, but I'm hoping to do it in the next video. Uh, I got a few things for this video. We need to we need to find a place to live to start. Um, we need to find somewhere to hang our hat and store all our stuff. So we're gonna get that started, but first let's go talk to Ferengar's Secret Fire. Um, I'm gonna ask him if he's the only wizard because I need to help him by delivering some frost salts to Arcadia. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salt. I'm sure you guys have seen me do this plenty of times. Um, everyone kind of does this because it's really easy. You do this, you deliver this to Arcadia, and you can loot her shop. I really don't like you're so mean to me, Ferengar. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go there as soon as we can. All right. We're going to deliver the frost salts, and uh, we're going to loot a few things out of the shop. We're not going to just ransack the whole place, because, um, like I said, I'm not interested in just looting blindly. What time is it? Oh, we got time. Big jump. How you doing, Yasolda? Blue Mountain Flower on the way, no one saw it, but let's go. Hey, there's my buddy. I haven't talked to him yet. Come here, bud. What are you doing? Only if I but hey, in the bannered mare, here's this bottle of Argonian ale. Yeah, I'll bring you the booze. Alright, oh steal. I'm not gonna steal anything. No 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 no, that's not happening. He wants me to steal the Argonian ale, I'm not doing that. I'm a good guy. So all this stuff is steel, as you guys can see. Got some frost salts for you. <coughs> she gives you some nice potions. Kind of be useful. Illusion, enhanced stamina, and brief invisibility. So we're just going to grab a few things that I think might be useful in the future. Uh, blister wart, the soul gems, uh, the spriggan sap, and the spider egg, blister wart, uh, the imp stool. Uh, death bell. Death bell might be useful for poisons. I don't know how much poison we do. These are for regenerate magicka uh, or uh, restore magicka potions. It's always so annoying in here. You gotta make sure you don't take too much. And actually, the most important thing we're looking for in here is we are looking for Abyssinian Longfin or Sierra Deluxe Spade Tail. Hey, there's a Spade Tail. Nice. What do we get? Ugh, nothing. Silver Side Perch. Oh, and the salt piles. Did I get the salt piles out of this one? No, I need salt piles too. Just a regular barrel with potatoes? Yeah, give me the potatoes. Excuse me. Out we go. Okay. Oh, man, it gets dark quicker. Quick around here. Uh, woodcutter's axe. Chop a little bit of wood for Halda. Big chop, buddy. Big chop, Hedriel. Bam! So Holda would like us to chop some wood to help her out, so we're going to do that, because we're a nice guy. How you doing? If it's work you, need, how about up some wood for the fire? you got it. Honest gold for honest work. Thanks. So now, all the stuff around here is free to take. Grab a few things. Oh yeah, the cheese wheels. Love cheese wheels. Um, there's another main reason why we're in this place as well, is to... Uh, tomatoes? Yeah, tomatoes are good for the vegetable soups we need. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Oh, I got the bowl, darn it, okay. And there's more fish barrels here, so I've seen Longfin, come on. Ah, oh, his carp. Come on, nice, and a Cyrodiilic, nice. And that's just a regular barrel. Oh, salt pile, though. Alright, so I should have, um, I forgot to loot the, uh, the Jarl's quarters, or the kitchen uh, in Dragon's Reach, that's okay. It's not, a, there's just some elves here, there. So I should have some enough to make some of the vegetable soup. Yeah, I only have eight tomatoes, but I got a bunch of the other stuff, so let's make a bunch of this. So this just lets you do a lot of power attacks in a row. Um, that's the whole reason I'm making it. Oh, there's more tomatoes? Nice. Make, I'll make four more, just because I got the extra tomatoes on me, and then I, when I can dump off all this stuff when I 
when you see our new home, guys, because we're going to have a new house. Well, we don't have a current house, but we're going to have a house. Shields up. <clears throat> Alright. Um, we are, like, really full, too. Off to the carriage. We're going to go to Riften. Three flowers. I'd like to go to Riften, my good man. How much gold we have? 1,300? That's enough. <coughs> Sorry. There's a frog in there somewhere. So yeah, this is played on Special Edition, guys, because I'm about to go to Solstein uh, in this video as well, so you guys will need the DLCs. Um, so, first things first. Ooh, Red Mountain Flower. We are going to zip over to the Tower of Zenithar thing over here, where there's a broken... Um, there's like a broken tower, and there's a uh, Amulet of Zenithar in there. And I want that so we have better prices for the rest of uh, the game. Because I don't think I'm going to be joining the Thieves Guild. That seems like business that's not up to me, so I'm not going to be getting any other better price stuff, probably. Unless I make something or I buy an amulet from someone. So what is there? Oh, that's a spider. Okay. I think we can take a spider. Only got three healing potions, but I believe. That hurt pretty bad. Um, I need to take that vegetable soup. I forgot about that. Oh, apparently I can't take a spider. All right. him up here to the guards and the guards will help us because we're a good guy see or well, this guy will help us somebody there we go why is that guy shooting who's that guy chasing that guy for what's going on there this spider is focused on us all right there you go, buddy. Thanks. Help out a fellow paladin. Oh, there's like a bunch of guys on the radar, too. I wonder what's going on here. I'm going to quick save right here just in case I accidentally hit... Oh, the Khajiit are here. <laughs> Look at these guys. The goon squad just comes in. Yeah. I cannot even get close to taking a spider, so that was interesting. I wonder what those enemies are out there. Because I didn't actually get what I wanted from that tower yet. Um... I'm going to let my stamina regenerate a little bit here before I drop down back in there, because I don't want to die. What are those? One of them's kind of close to me. Okay, they just disappeared, so... That's even scarier that they disappeared. Now if I drop down there, are they going to reappear and I'm going to just die? So, you come here and get the Amulet of Zenithar, you satchel a bunch of gold, you tag up the Shrine of Zenithar, search skeleton, and then you just, I'm fast traveling back because I don't know what those other things were on the radar there, that was a little scary. That spider will molly -womped me, guys. I am not tough, apparently. Hey, red mountain flower. So red's the color we like. Alright, let's talk to these guys. Oh, whoa. The visitor's tax. This is obviously a shakedown. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So I can get in. Um, yeah, you can't loot these. I think you can if you're not playing with the unofficial patch. Those are lootable, but I have the unofficial patch in, so those are owned barrels. I think if I beat uh, the guy at the stables in a brawl, then I can go through those, but I'm not going to be uh, brawling that guy. So that guy is a little intimidating. I don't want anything to do with him. We're avoiding him. No, Maul, go away. 
Oh, in the drink. It's not where I intended to go, but... Are any of these fish barrels? Oh, tomatoes. More tomatoes, holy. Yeah, none of these are fish barrels. Okay, well, we're gonna go snag up some fish barrels, but before that, I need to talk to, uh... The bunkhouse? No, no, no. I wanna go to the bee and the barb. Not the bee and the barb. Is this what it's called? Bee and the barb? Yeah, bee and barb. Yeah. No, no, no. I could have a wedding at the temple? I might. Tell me what about marriage? Skyrim, guys. Ouch. Okay. Perfect. So I gotta get an amulet Amara. I know how to do that. Ah, go away. Okay, one more thing. We're gonna run out here. We're gonna help out uh, Wujita. We just wanna get some, uh, we wanna get some fish. Don't need a ton of fish, just some fish. Oh, see, those are all steel still. Where you at, Wujita? I don't have very many healing potions to give up either, so... Where is she? I feel like every time I'm out here, she's walking around. Hmm. Wait an hour, see if she shows up. Oh. Maybe she's inside. <clears throat> yep. You might lose your job. So she's she's showing up to work high on Skuma. have two healing potions, so. So she gives you a reward. And now we're just gonna, I'm gonna take a look. There's a couple fish barrels in here. I'm just looking for, like I said, Zyrodex build, Spaytail, and the Abyssinian Longfin. I'll take the other fish just because they're there, but uh, I know the ones that I need. Um, yeah, we're gonna go back out into Skyrim. And now all these fish barrels are here are clear. Free for the taking, too. Uh, I know it'd probably just be easier just to click everything, but I don't want all that other junk. This is also a really good way to get a ton of salt pile if you need it. Cabbages are usually never in short supply. I'm not going to pick up all those cabbages because we're getting really full. This is also a really good way, guys, if you're playing on survival mode, you can come here and get all these salmon meats, because there's salmon meat in every one of these, and the clam meat, um, and salt piles, and make yourself a ton of meals. Uh, salmon meat plus salt pile is the most weight effective um, food you can eat on survival mode. Um, it isn't the most salt pile effective, though, so, you know, eating the soups and stuff is better, because you get a higher hunger increase. For per salt pile you use, but you also but you get you know you have to they weigh a little bit more like each uh, each salmon steak weighs very little. Okay, what's weighing me down so heavy? Do I just tell you that I have extra gear? Oh, I don't need that anymore. I'm drop out of that axe, give me a little bit more room. Okay, and these tomatoes I can have them now. Man, I got a ton of tomatoes. This is bank. All right, we're gonna go to. We're gonna go back to the stables now that we're set up to have a have a wedding. And off to Dawnstar we go. Dawnstar, bud. Guess I might as well actually put on that amulet as Zenithar since I don't have another amulet to wear. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I have I got a cold partway through January, and I just have not kicked the cough yet. I've been feeling good for a while, but a little bit of a cough ever since then. It's weird. Alright, we're in Dawnstar. Snowberries are actually kind of useful. Um, fortify enchanting potions, so, you know, always good to grab a couple. If anybody's wondering why I'm not taking off my equipment to run through town, because it'll be better on my stamina, I just don't care to. I know, I'm not worried about it. It's not that much of an increase that I'm, I'm even bothered by it. I think it's the first time I've been here where Silas isn't outside arguing because I uh, haven't hit the level where I get the courier to come talk to me about the museum in Dawnstar. Um, I don't think Nightshade will be any use to us, but I'll grab a couple of them on the route. So what we're doing in Dawnstar, guys, we're going to grab the uh, free Amulet of Zenithar and all the red mountain flyers we get up here. For people that aren't aware, um, there's this tent up here where people were obviously having a night out, quote unquote. And uh, when they were having a night out, they uh, they left behind an amulet of Zenithar and a bunch of um, red mountain flowers. It's pretty much like roses on the bed. So this tent right here, as you can see right there, there's always an amulet of Mara. And there's a whole bunch of red mountain flowers. Be careful as you click, because if you click on the bedrolls, you'll sleep for an hour. And uh, look, they even had treats and wine. They were doing good. Um, oh, like I said, the uh, red mountain flowers are for magicka restoration, like to restore restore magicka potions is what they're for. All right, there we go. Okay, we're done with that back to a carriage so we'll go to the white run carriage ah that's red Aaron's retreat that's gonna be a pretty hard place to get amaran sword but we'll do it just not right not this video hey look another red bar all right off to windhelm we go you can take it. where do you want to go windhelm bud Climb and back and we'll be off. so uh we're going to go to Solstheim right now, uh, and just so that people aren't aware, everything in Solstheim is way too big for us. We're, uh, Solstheim is almost like a leveled area. Like, you got to be a little bit leveled up to kind of go there on legendary difficulty. So we're just going to go there and do a couple things um, and get some items. We're going to hire ourselves a follower, which is going to be greatly useful to us. Uh, maybe I'll do the first part of this. Uh, yeah, I'll do. I'll do this first part, and then we'll do the. We'll go to Soul's Time. I'm gonna do some a couple. Of, I'm gonna do a, a couple things in Windhelm first. You guys are so mean. So there's a there's a guy in here. Oh, oops, sorry. That's was part of the old plan. We're not doing the old plan anymore. New plan. New plan. All right, we're gonna wait until business time. And we're gonna go to Sadri's used wares. You guys have, I'm sure you guys have seen me go to Sadri's place before. Hey, come back. Spare a coin. Oh, thank you. Yeah, enjoy. What do you got, kid? I'll buy some flowers. You got some red? You got some red for me? Nice. Enjoy. Thanks. Thanks for talking to me. Alright, we're gonna zip over to, uh, Sadri's place. Every night, I walk around the great sort of nurse it and raise on you. Take a good look around. I'm sure you I will. Oh my so nothing in here is stolen, eh? Nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy filth with goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that... Oh, has she? Well, that's a little foolish of you, isn't it? It's not that easy. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something. Sneak that ring back. Trinkets, odds, and I'm just gonna see if I have anything to sell them. Um, need my daggers. Oh, I still have doubles of these? 
Jeez, that's what's been weighing me down. I didn't realize that, guys. My head hasn't been in it. Clam meat. No, I need my cheese wheel. Yeah, I take all those. All the vegetable soup stuff. The rest of the stuff I want. There we go. That's probably did a little bit of damage. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh, come on. Damn it. It locked his shop. Might have to wait to try to fix that. I hate when that happens. Although, wait. No, I don't have to worry about that. Okay. I think we're good. I like that Rolf guy. I don't like him very much at all. Okay, I don't see who I'm looking for. So what, what, are, what we're doing here, guys, is instead of... Uh, instead of the old plan of... Uh, where is she? The old thing we used to do of... Dropping the ring in Viola's house because we're not like that. We're not dropping over ring in anybody's house. We are. Uh, we're gonna go tell on Sadri. We're gonna find Viola and we're gonna tell her that Sadri has her ring and is selling stolen goods, etc. I just need to find her. I don't know where she is. My understanding is she walks around the Grey Quarter, not the Grey Quarter. She just walks around town, or she's in Candle Hearth Hall. Are you Viola? Susanna the Wicked. Holy, you're stacked, man. Huh? Alright, let's go. No time for that. Where is she? I usually see her walking around out here somewhere. I wonder if she's down by the shopkeepers. Oh, here we go. Nope. Nope. Yeah, she's not here either. Where is she? I mean, it's gonna take a, take me a minute to find her here. Priest, you're not her. She's not in her house. I can't exactly check, but. I'm just gonna go inside Candle Hearth Hall, look around again. If she's not near, I'm gonna wait until she shows up. Let me know if you want anything. I think I've got a clean mug around here. Somewhere. I tell you, I tell you the dragonborn comes. Alright, we're gonna wait until later in the night. I believe Viola comes here after dinner time, so. There she is! So typical of his kind. I think the Yarr should hear about this. Maybe double his taxes. No, triple them. That should teach those people a lesson. You deserve something for sniffing out that food. Here. So you get the same reward where everyone would give you the same amount of gold. Um, you just you just lose disposition with him, so you can't uh, marry him or whatever. But you know what you can do. Look at you, wearing an amulet. Yeah, I am. I'd be more than interested. The two of us, then. All of Skyrim should get ready to stand aside. Yep. So she's good looking, right? She kind of looks like us a little bit. Where's my helmet? Yeah, we're both a little older. Imperials. I like it. I like it. Alright, so. That part's done. We had to set up our wedding. And that's going to be our new house, guys. We're going to be living in Viola's house. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt to, uh... To get to, though, because you can't just, like, fast travel to your house. You gotta fast travel 
to to the palace of the kings and then run there so a little bit more painful than what we're used to but uh anything in these things apples cabbages sure but hey a house is a house i'm not gonna feel bad she's got like a mansion too get out of here lady all right off to soul's time we go i thought that that uh spider we fought at the tower of zenithar would be a little easier a little bit more at our level so we could at least have some decent combat in this video but there might not be very much combat at all guys if you're looking for past this episode i'll give you if you ask me i can't blame them they still pay still interested in yeah let's go to soul's time you've got yourself a so we're going to Solstheim to get our follower, as well as uh, we are going to get um, a little bit of gold and new uh, armor and weapons and everything. We're going to get all decked out. Well, we we're going to be getting all new armor and all new weapons. Welcome to Raven Rock. Just be careful here. Things aren't what they used to be. Might pick up a few skate crawl when we're here. Who knows if we need them for poisons. We're not really making a lot of poisons right now. But but now, once we have all this done, guys, in the next video, it'll be uh, Bleak Falls Barrow time. Nope. Just leave me alone. Uh, how much does this stuff weigh? Oh, do I not have my armor on? Nice. 35... I just wonder if I'm going to be full when I go pick up this stuff. Um, you guys might have saw this if you uh, if you watched my video getting 10,000 gold at level 1 in 40 minutes on Legendary. You guys might have saw me do this. Um, so if you just run out here to the little farming symbol up here, that little uh, wheat up above us. I picked up an Ashiam. Come on. Tasty Ashiam. Um, you'll find uh, the captain here is going to be fighting some uh, Ash spawn. These guys are outrageously strong for us. Oh, there's an Ash Hopper too. That's dangerous. The Ash Hopper could go rogue. Uh, the reason I came here, you see this dead soldier? Search him up. You get an Elven Bow, Elven Arrows, Elven Sword, and a full set of Bone Mold Heavy stuff. Which is going to put us over our weight. Hopefully this Imperial... I'll drop both these Imperial Swords. Perfect. So, look. This is a... So, right now we have 104 armor. Yeah, so... Whole new 123. Free upgrades. Free upgrades. Um, we're getting out of here. Yeah, we have no chance of beating uh, those things there. We can't hurt them at all. I bet you that guy's probably not killable, though. So, maybe he could. But, uh, well, I need to... Favorite my shield too. There we go. Yeah, so now we're up to we gained like twenty armor there and a bunch of damage. This this new weapon does five more damage than our old weapon. Alright, so back to Raven Rock we go. Yeah, it's just an easy place to get a full set of gear. Like no matter what kind of character you're using, if you want to get you know, you get an elven bow too, which is kind of a good a good item to have. A lot of people always say you can go, you can go to the companions and steal one from a chest. It's like, or from a lockbox. It's like you can, but then it's stolen. If you accidentally get copper stealing, you lose it. You know, you can't sell it unless you get join the thieves guild. Blah blah blah. So, I prefer to just do that one because it's just as easy. And there's lots of, you know, it's definitely not a bad idea to come over to Raven Rock every once in a while. All right, we're going to the Wretching Netch Corner Club. We're gonna go hire my boy Teldrin Saro. Um, in some of my previous walkthroughs, people might have seen Teldrin. Um, this guy might be the best early follower in the game. Consider yourself higher, buddy. 500 gold. So, he, uh, yeah. That's part of a DLC quest. I'm not going to start that. Um, he always summons a flame Atronach. As, and then he gets into combat with either flames or his sword. Uh, he's very good. Okay. That's done, that's done, that's done. Alright, we're done. We're out of here for now. We'll come back here later. 
we are going to Riften and we're going to get our wedding done. Oops. Let's go to Riften and get the marriage on. <coughs> Excuse me. Still want to make sure I don't talk to them all. Go arrange our wedding to uh, Viola. Oops. Ah, just trying to see where Maramel is. Okay, he's in the uh, temple. So he's not always in the temple, so. Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk in the face. I was wondering if Dina would talk to us so we could get started on uh, the the Mara quests, but I'd like to have a wedding at the temple. Love blossoming even during these difficult times. Your wedding will be held tomorrow from dawn till dusk. Nice. Don't be late. You don't want to miss your own wedding. Okay. Um, tomorrow. So, what's that? Wait. I'm just going to wait in here. Hopefully when I come in, there's... Yep. Who came? Ariviana? Who else we got? Arcadia. So I think it's only people that, like, have you've helped or have helped other, you know. So I've helped Arcadia. I don't know about that Ariviana person. Oh, yeah. Look at me in my bone mold armor. Love that we learn that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union yep. of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next in prosperity, poverty, in joy, and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? I do. Of course. Now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love. Tell them you shut up, I'm getting married. Couple to be wed. I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. Woohoo! This is the happiest day of my life. Where should we live? My home is your home now. Living with you would be perfect, Viola. Don't keep me waiting. Awesome. Okay, well, Dina, give us the get the start at least. All right, fine. I'll come back later. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, is it still in the middle of the night? Yeah. I'm just gonna zip over to the uh, Mist Vale Keep real quick if I can. And just uh, see if Walindra's got something to sell me there. I'm just looking to buy uh, the spell of Turn Lesser Undead. I meant to buy it from Farangar Secret Fire, but I just spaced out. So we're going to see if uh, Walindra has one. Um, put the Amulet of Zenithar on. You got Turn Lesser Undead in here somewhere? You do. $217. Wow. You're not running the charity shop, are you, there, lady? Um, I'm going to keep that for now. My soul gem is not for you. Okay. Alright. So let's chew this book up. Restoration spell, Turn Lesser Undead. All right, let's zip off to our new house with Viola so we can empty out some of this garb we're carrying, guys. See, visit your spouse's house. Let's do it. Nice. All right, let's go check out Viola's place. Empty out all of our uh, smithing stuff we've been catching up on and all of our ingredients. I've never used Viola's house as, like, a place to live, so I'm 
This is all new to me. Little red mountain flower here. This is our new house. Check it out, guys. Bam. Pretty nice digs. All this stuff is ours. Oh, wow. Silver sapphire necklace. Necklace, thanks, honey. I'm just storing that away for me. Let's see, I got a cooking pot over here so I can make vegetable soups when I need to, which I can probably make some of now before I ditch everything else. Oh, I have no leaks. I always thought I was you get troubled when you don't have any um any tomatoes, but apparently I'm short on leeks. Is there any leeks sitting around here? Did I just overload myself by like one pound? Wow. Uh food. Uh cabbages. There we go. Ooh, cheese wheels, I want those too. Chest. All right, this is where we're gonna keep all our food. Twelve vegetable soups. I'll carry those on me. I'll keep the booze on me. Cheese wheel can go in there too. There we go. I just don't know how often these things are gonna re be respawning for us. Okay, let's go take a look upstairs. Talk to our. Talk to my wife, if she's here. She might not even be here. This might be one of the places where you get screwed for being. So see, I only got the rested bonus and not the lover's comfort bonus. It's because she's not in the house. I wonder if she actually does ever come back here, because... If she doesn't come back here, that could, that could throw off all this. Um, hmm. Yeah, so the reason we got married, guys... Um, is we wanted to get this the bond of matrimony restoration spells cost 10 percent less uh combo that with the amount of mar boom another 10 percent less once we level up again we'll be able to get the restoration perk so that'll drop it by half so right now it's costing us how much is it costing us to cast turn lesser undead 55 and that's with the two pieces on so if we get the uh that it'll be costing us what is that twenty seven? And we have how much magicka? One hundred and thirty, so that's like that's like five casts. It's pretty good. Alright, let's uh throw our alchemy stuff somewhere around here. Um Yeah, let's take everything out of here and we'll put all my ingredients in here. I never thought about it if Viola doesn't come home. <laughs> One of the benefits of getting married, guys, is that your spouse will open a store, quote-unquote, and they will uh, give you about 100 gold a day of in-game time so you can make some money just off them being around at the house. But uh, I never thought about if she comes home or not because I don't think she ever does. <sighs> I'm trying to remember, but I can't. I don't know if she ever does come home. All right, let's take some of those. Yeah, anyways, hey, I'll sort all this out off screen, guys. You guys don't need to watch this. But anyways, in the next video, we are going to be heading off to Bleak Falls Barrow, guys. Kill some undead. Help out our, uh, help out the Jarl. Help out Farangar Secret Fire. And help out Lucan at the Riverwood Trader. So thanks for watching, guys. We will, uh, we will catch you guys next time.